So, my sophomore year musical was Curtains. See the shirt? I just realized that I should be wearing the shirts in every single one of them because I still have kept every single show shirt since I was three, which is really hoarder of me, but I still fit in the one from Annie, so songage. The songs are great in Curtains. Um, they're not great to the audience. I it's, They're fun to sing. And they're honestly quotable because a lot of the things that the show talks about is show people and show business and musicals and what's it like to be in theater. And for theater kids, we love to talk about ourselves. Thus this video. <laughs> uh, I admit defeat on that one. But we love to sing about ourselves and talk about show business and it's just our world. So that's what this musical is about. I find it really funny and relatable. So that's why I like the musical. People who are not into shows probably would not like it. My role was chorus once again. I was in less courses than I was in freshman year, which is impressive. It's either I'm at the back row or I'm at the top of the pyramid. It's all perspective, baby. It's all perspective. I was not in the opening number or the closing number. I bowed first. Very bitter about the show, if you cannot tell. Acting knowledge acquired, I figured out, um, I continued to learn the hard lesson of pushing through despite not being casted in anything. I was casted in one dance number with the main dance girls, and I took that and ran with it. I practiced that dance so frequently in my cluttered bedroom and in the office and anywhere I could find space because I forgot to mention that this is a Zoom musical. So we spent all of our rehearsals except the last week or two online. The vocal rehearsals were all online. Um, the blocking was all online. He'd make little pictures and share his screen and then show us where we're supposed to stand. And we're supposed to remember that. It was wild. I made my own schematic, so it had all the locations in every single scene that I was in to understand where I stood. Yeah, it was crazy. The cast relationships were not lasting. I don't talk to anyone from that show. It's also the fact that I did move from the location that I was in, so. So I don't keep in contact with many of them anymore. In terms of the director's relationship, this is the first time I'm gonna talk about this because it was the first year I figured it out in my soul, <laughs> I guess, that I was not favored and not liked. So therefore, I didn't get anything. Show business. I was liked enough to be the goal of the jokes. But I was not liked enough to be put in the cast. I was casted as alternate, and then I was eventually cast in the next couple weeks. But really, I was originally shafted. <laughs> in terms of consistent relationship building, um, something that really helped the consistent relationship building was honestly Zoom. And that was the only good thing about Zoom, is because I got to spend all the rehearsals with my best friend. I'm smart now. She is so smart. They're mine. This is Hans and Petunia. That was it. <laughs> that was like the only joyful part. Um, we finished school and then I'd be like, hey, can I come over to your house? And then we'd hang out and sit on Zoom for four hours after school to do rehearsal, which is stare at a screen and listen to the director play the piano. We needed him several times. To be frank with you, um, he was working on other parts, like when he was working with our parts, obviously we'd unmute him and listen to what he was saying, but there were many times when we'd just space out and do whatever we wanted because we were together. And that was very fun. That was about the only fun part. I'm going to talk about overall work environment. Like I said, it was mostly all on Zoom, and so the work environment was... I can't say it was the best. I really cannot say I enjoyed that. Um, that's not why I signed up for theater, that's not why I do theater, is just to be alone. But it did prove that once we were together, and once we were dancing and acting, 
it was a little bit more fun. It definitely was more fun and showed off the fruits of our work. Being able to learn a dance through Zoom was an accomplishment for me. In terms of also the work environment, when we were in person and um, they were working on the opener and closer and I wasn't in that, that felt like a stab in the heart. Like for real, like it really sucked. And so we never had an audience and so we had three people film it. A professional company come in and film it from three different angles and um, assemble a video for the musical because we were not allowed to have in-person tickets. There was no audience, it was uh, it was hard to get angles. And so it wouldn't be like you're just watching, you can look around at a bunch of people, it would be like shifting angles every three seconds. So it was interesting to be like, where am I? So I made a guide for my friends and family, and I was like, if you're gonna watch this, here's where I am in this scene, just so you were able to see where I was. It was really hard to find closure from that show and just general enjoyment of it because we were not together at all. Um, the whole cast wasn't. And it was also weird to find a dynamic of the show because everyone was getting close contacted and set out from the show. You weren't allowed to come back for 14 days. Um, and it was really weird just dealing with the close contacting and being like, well, when we film it, I hope you're here. Despite being all masked, um, there's a lot of missing people. I had three costumes. The first costume that I'm going to talk about is the in the same boat costume, which is literally a camisole and a skirt and a belt. It was a weird color to pick. It looked like we were naked, but you know, doing the best with what you got. The third costume I sorely despise is the Woman's Dead costume. Did I say third? I meant the second. Did I say second? It went at a weird length for me. They were low-waisted and then they were cut off mid-shin, which for a long skinny person is not ideal. <laughs> I don't know, it looked very, it was a weird look. And the person next to me was also wearing the same exact outfit and she wore it better. And the last costume is one of my favorite costumes I've also ever worn, and that is the that of a costume. It's a red stripper look, and it was so hot. <laughs> it was so cute. I felt so confident in it, and it was very flattering on everyone, and the red just looked beautiful. That was such a good dance. I wish I was able to be seen. I was not, but... Anyway, that was Curtains. It was quite an interesting experience, and um, that was my sophomore year musical.